Hey, what's up? How's it going? Getting on to uh, training for the Nutri the Nutri Go Round. I'm here. Uh, no hero is allowed. Whatever part this is. Um, and I'm doing more training stuff. Goodness, back for more training, are you? Considering there's no rewards or anything, I'm impressed. All right. I'd better give you a lesson worthy of such an enthusiastic god of destruction. Um. Okay, look at this diagram. As you know, soil is split into various levels. Yeah, yeah, zero, one, two, seventeen, something. The levels range from zero to three, and different monsters are spawned depending on the soil's level. And the level is dictated by how many nutrients the soil has absorbed. Level zero soil contains no nutrients and produces no monsters when excavated. But nutrients are absorbed, the level of the soil increases, and the monsters it makes improve. Only problem is that most of thy soil in thy dungeon is either either level one or worse. Look, level zero, and you need the tougher monsters to fend off hordes of heroes. So you need to improve the level of your soil, which means popping a chock full of delicious nutrients. And the key to doing that lies in nice slime mosses spawned from level 1 soil. So first things first. Let's dig as many slime mosses stuff stuff yeah titties. So, hello little one. This is a slime moss. You are probably familiar with them from your training. Slime mosses wander thy dungeon, and when they come across nutrients, they suck them straight up. And then they wander off, nutritional Latin, and extremely pleased with themselves. There you go, a slime moss, and all its wobbly nutrient gobbling glory. When slime mosses suck nutrients from thy soil, the process apparently takes a mere microsecond. Let's watch it again. Actually, I can't be bothered. After sucking up nutrients, they will move to another nutrient-rich piece of soil and regurgitate them. And that's pretty much all each slime moss can expect from life, courting nutrients back and forth. Yeah, but thanks to their tireless and wineless efforts, nutrients move and soil increases in level. Without these wonder workers, nutrient circulation would cease in dungeon life along with it. Let's take another look at slime moss going about its business. But this time I'm going to show you the soil so you could see the nutrients moving. Yeah, yeah. As you just saw, the slime mosses regurgitated the nutrients added to those already present in the soil. And if enough nutrients are all chucked onto the same patch of soil, its level will increase. And when a black soil level increases, it will spawn a stronger monster when excavated. Skillful slime moss strangling is necessary to circulate nutrients and spawn stronger monsters. But there's something you must know it might hurt your godly pride, but you need to hear it. Contrary to what you might think, monsters won't do what you tell them. They have minds of their own. You have to rein in your almighty urges and let them go about their business. But if you do your homework, you'll be able to 
spin them to your world dominating will. For example, slime horses will keep moving in some direct direction until they bump into a wall. If you know this, you can dig your dungeons in such a way that nutrients are moved where you need them or want them. Give it a go, dig a corridor that the slime horses will circulate the nutrients around in. There we go, neato stuff, I guess. Um, cool! If you limit the number of directions a slime horse can move in, you cause nutrients to accumulate. Let me teach you some nice nutrients. Building corridor formations, they are the same as in the last game. First, there's the D shape. It forces horses to go along the same path back again. Then there's the square that keeps them going round and round and circulating nutrients as they go. Last but not least, there's the C-shape. Morses move around it and deposit nutrients in nice center. Okay, there are others, but you'll have to find out for yourself what they are. Experience is a best teacher. Now slime morses will eventually become flowers, and this also aids nutrient circulation. First they become buds, then flowers. Both buds and flowers absorb nutrients from farther away. So their nutrient absorbs absorption range increases like this. Absorption. Absorption. But on the other hand, they can no longer move. So if they take root in barren soil, they will and die. Let's take a look at the budding and flowering process, shall we? Okay. Uh, any time now. What's up? All right. So I'm supposed to be waiting for something, I suppose. There we go. I guess something happened. Did something happen? We're still waiting for that something to happen, aren't we? I'm running out of patience already. Come on now. Any day now. Any day now. Let's go. I think I'm supposed to be waiting for something. Am I? Uh. Um. So... Oh, great, of course. I'm waiting for something to happen. I don't know what the fuck is supposed to be happening. I feel like something was supposed to happen. Is it bugging out on me? Because now I'm just tripping. Clearly, I am tripping now. Oh yeah, this is, uh... Oh! Okay. I don't quite know what's going on, but okay. Let's go. I'm really excited now or something. Uh, so, I'm going to let their slime mosses do their thing, I guess. Um, I don't know what that was about. Like, I was supposed to get a flower happening or something, and a flower didn't happen. So, there wasn't any flowers, I guess. And, um... I really don't know what the hell that was about then. And what happened to the flowers? Or did they like... Oh, are they already dying? They're dying, aren't they? Or do they just turn into more, um... 
I don't know. That's kind of... Um, I don't know. I'm supposed to make Omnoms, though, aren't I? But I'm not making Omnoms. Where's these Omnoms at? Any day now. Yeah, I don't know. It's been, it's, yeah, I try to point it out in every video I do. Um, since, you know, I, most of my videos are kind of old. So I recorded this back on May 6th. Today is, in fact, uh, July 10th. Um, however, I can't even comment on when the video itself will be going online. So, uh... Yeah, I'm glad I finally able to work on it, even though it's been two months ago since I recorded this shit. And finally, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to make these fucking Omnoms, aren't I? So there we go, we got three Omnoms. Um, whenever I can figure out the rest of this whole... Can I make another Omnom down there? Why don't I make another Omnom? There goes another Omnom. There's another Omnom. How many more? Five? Let's go. There's another one. Anything else? I think there's another one. Oh, that's coming along smooth, I suppose. That's good. That's cool. So I really still don't know what the hell is going on, but I'm just running with it because I'm like, you know, fuck it, right? So... My lord, you've spawned a small army of ten wiggly wonderful omnoms. And dungeon is made up of a myriad of creatures and features, but the nutrient cycle undergoing it all. In the fuglistic world of the dungeon, it's like a job you need to master it before trying the tough stuff. Neato, that's all done. Hey, you rank my lord, mobile stuff. So that's that for the time being. Uh, like, subscribe, check out other real games on my channel that aren't fucking demo.